All right, now in 5A, here's a look at the Jackson final. They're moving on past Briarwood. The second race, Aggies won 24 to 7 tonight at home. We call this the smart board because it can do things that other boards can too, like a chalkboard. <laughs> wouldn't be able to do what we're about to do right now. It's bracketology time, Simone. Yeah, it is, baby. You don't have to wait until March for bracketology. Let's check this out. We're in 6A here, like we talked about earlier. McGill Tulin moving on. They will play Smith Station who won in double overtime over Enterprise. Yeah, really cool to see the Yellow Jackets moving on. They've been one of the strongest teams in our area all year long. Big fight tonight, only winning by four points. But hey, a W is a W, and they move on to round three. All right, let's check out later in 6A. Here, Carver Montgomery won big over Fairhope, like we talked earlier. Auburn also with a three-point win over Foley, just barely a second rank. Auburn moving on to play Carver Montgomery. Yeah, a sad board here for our local teams as Fairhope and Foley both fall, but great seasons for them both. Let's move on to 5A playoff bracket. Yeah, let's check it out here. St. Paul's won in overtime. They get past Benjamin Russell, and they're going to play. This is a good one for our yes. local teams. Sarah Land, baby. This is awesome. Sarah Land, a new upstart program. St. Paul's traditional powerhouse clashing in rounds three to see who's going to move on. Definitely. Now, where we have been waiting for a long time to see this, it's going to be the one-two punch. The Toros and the Aggies, this game is going to be at Spanish Fort, Joe. And this one is going to be exciting. Spanish Fort has just been rolling over people all season long. We'll see if Jackson can put up a fight against the mighty Toros. They've no, got a good chance. No doubt about that. Now, we saw earlier that UMS is one big over Beauregard. They are going to play Dadeville, two ranked teams. Not going to be easy. Going to be a good game. All right, Terry Curtis, five state titles. What can you say? Looking for number six. UMS Wright always back in the playoffs, no matter what happens at the regular season. Now over in 3A, Bayside is going to take on Strawn. Bayside. Right, yeah. which means you need to polish up on your Saved by the Bell highlights because last time you didn't know really what that was. Bayside's a high school they go to, and I want to make jokes about it. So <laughs> yeah, that's I, why we got to talk about that. I need to figure that, that out. Okay, yep. now over in three, I kind of jumped the gun here. <laughs> but we have T.R. Miller, one big over midfield, and they're going to play Leeds. All right, so looking good for T.R. Miller. Big win over there, and let's move on to 2A. And Washington County against Mobile Christian, maybe. Looking forward to that one. Good chance it'll probably be in Chatham. And definitely hoping that Tyler Rogers is getting some looks from some big-time programs now as he goes into uh, college because he is just a beast, a man among boys. Four